Hi everybody, Beth here. Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. This is Find Each Finds, and I am a reseller on the Etsy platform. So I have another haul. Um, I'm trying to build up my inventory on, in my shop. I have about 50 listings right now, but um, I have a few more to add. So uh, these are from a few different places. I went to an antique shop, uh, an estate sale, and a garage sale, I think. So I will move quickly because I need to. I have some more that I need to leave pretty soon, a few minutes. So, um, at the estate sale, somebody was definitely a collector. I got a lot of old books, and um, I got probably 15 of them, and all of these are worth about between 60 and $80, um, just from the research that I did. And the other ones, I didn't get a chance to look up there, but um, even if they aren't worth a lot to sell on their own, if you bind old books together with twine, they sell pretty well um, for decor. So that's what I'll do if I find that some of them maybe aren't worth selling on their own. Um, next, I got this decanter, which is really cool. It's got this like geometric, geometric prism, gold design, and there's the stopper. So that's really cool. Probably sell that for around 30. Um, I got this my first Pyrex dish. I've, I've had the opportunity to buy some, but I really like this pattern. I got it for $8. It came with the lid. And this pattern from the 60s. It's like a gold snowflake. Um, and I'll save my other finds for last. This is definitely not everything that I got, but it's the stuff that I'm really excited about. I got this for $10. He might have actually charged me less overall. But um, there are a whole bunch of belt buckles. So I don't know anything about belt, belt buckles. But I know that people collect them. And um, I've got two of those with the guns. Uh, there are some other ones that I can't find a lot on. Here's one with a horse. It looks like some kind of shell behind it. There we go. I know red eye. Um, some other hobby ones. Here's fishing. Oh, there we go. A little better. Um, two people on bikes. And I also got a bunch of these things. Like the holders for the, the strings that hang down. I'm not really sure what they're called. But a bunch of those. So um, a range of... A range of designs as well. Here's a cool one. Okay, old car. So those are really cool. I'm excited to kind of look through them and see what I've got. Um, and it's nice to have a little container for any other vintage jewelry that I get. Um, okay, so this I'm really excited about. This was right before I left and I didn't have time to look it up, but I thought it was really pretty. This is actually a Kaiser, if I'm saying it right, a Kaiser um base so it was made in it's vintage it was made in germany and there are all these porcelain white matte bases with different designs this one um is kind of i wouldn't i don't want to say rare because i'm not sure but on the internet it's hard to find so this could go from between 60 and 70 um and i think it's just really pretty i thought well if it's not worth anything i'll just keep it but uh i'm not the only one that thinks it's pretty so Okay, two more. These are awesome. All right, I guess that this will be... Oh! Uh, the antique store that I went to last night, I got these two Apple computer decals from the 80s. Just thought those were really cool. They don't go for a lot, like maybe 15, $10, $15. Um, this next thing, so if you watch Crazy Lamp Lady, Jocelyn, um, if you don't and you're into vintage, vintage stuff, definitely go check out her channel. She's got an Etsy shop. Um, and she also has a Facebook group called uh, Old Things Identification, which has been so interesting and such a great resource for me because I'm just starting out. So um, anyway, she found one of these and kind of talked about the history and everything on her channel. So I found one, and it's a telephone cord purse. And these were made in the 40s, um, and things like wool and other materials were being used in the war, so they got creative with different design 
materials. And this is a small white cord. So from a distance, it looks beaded, which is pretty cool. And a lot of them have really bright colors and stuff. I like how this is neutral. And I think it I think it will appeal, appeal to a lot of people. So this is worth uh, between $150 and $175. So I'm really excited. And my biggest find was yesterday. So I stopped at this um, barn sale and I got two lamps for $10. And I could just tell that there was something special about this lamp. It's really pretty. Um, it looks like blades of grass or something intertwined. I couldn't find any, there was the only thing I found was this mark, but I didn't know anything about it. And then when I got home, I looked at the bottom a little more and it's a Van Briggle. Um, and they're really very nice lamps. So um, this particular one isn't out there a lot. I've seen it in black and white and a couple brown. Um, but I did see one, this exact one, brown, with the original lampshade going for $355 plus $50 shipping. So um, I looked up the lampshade itself and see if it was sold, uh, to see if it was being sold by on its own to see how much. And people were selling it for the most at like $60. So I'll probably list this like $280 and see how it goes. And if I need to adjust it, I will. But it's really pretty. I just plugged it in and it works. Um, I do have a shade that goes with it, but I don't know if I'll include it or, or not because it's definitely not the original. But yeah, super pretty. And that's this is the stamp again. It's dusty. Um, and then, oh, I did forget one thing. These are really cool. Um, I went to like a little antique shop and I saw these glasses with these embossed um, geese, I think, or ducks all over them. And they just looked really interesting. So I asked him, there were eight of them. I asked him how much he wanted for all of them. He said $5. So when I got home, I looked them up a little bit. And I can't find him really anywhere except one listing. Um, he's selling four for $60. So I'm not sure if I'll list them all together or not. But uh, they're really pretty and in good condition. Some of them have uh, like the rims a little bit. Chip, not chipped, um, the gold is a little bit, it's not as smooth, but yeah, those are really pretty. So those are my favorite finds of all the hauls that I've done in the last couple weeks. And I'm really trying to work my way through it and list everything. So if you see anything here um, that you have questions about or maybe that you want more information on, it should be in my shop very soon. But if not, um, definitely feel free to comment below or message me on Etsy or whatever. So thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.